After a very, very long day, a beautiful day, filled with a lot of surprises, we're here now in Medjibush, one of my favorite places, Mamish, one of my favorite places in the universe, literally out of this world, otherworldly, otherworldly, and this is more or less as close as I can get as a Kohen, show you. Right in front of you, what you're looking at in this building, right in the middle window on the bottom, is where the Baal Shem Tov HaKadosh is buried. To try to explain in words what it feels like here, what stand be miyuta, be a waste of words, what it feels like on an emotional level uh, to be here right now and to daven for Am Yisrael together with my wife and so many of the very incredibly, incredibly inspiring women of our community. It's been incredible. It's been really incredible. Right there. That's where the Baal Shem HaKadosh is. Whenever I come here, I actually think about Rabbi Nachman. I always think, for some reason, I always think about Rabbi Nachman when I come here. I think it's because one of the first things I ever learned about Rabbi Nachman is that Rabbi Nachman used to come here as a little boy when he was three, four years old in the middle of the night. Rabbi Nachman, Tzchisya Ganelinu, where we will be tomorrow by Rabbi Nachman. He's the great grandson of the Baal Shem Tov. And he was born here in this town, in this city of Medjibush. And um, Rabbi Nachman, it says, I think, in, in Sichel Saran, one of the Svarim, that he used to come here as a little boy, four or five years old, middle of the night, he would tovel, he would dip in the mikvah, and he would cry on his grand, great-grandfather's kever, saying to him, right here, right in front of us. There's so many things to say. Am Yisrael needs such, such a tremendous dose of oz, and dose of strength, of courage, of determination, of clarity. A dose of chadesh yaminu kekedem. A dose of clarity as to like what it what it once used to be like when we were so much more connected to the root of our neshama. You know, Hasidim say that the Baal Shem Tov's name is Yisrael because Am Yisrael, the soul of Am Yisrael was departing from its body. It was literally, the, the spiritual soul was, was, was leaving Am Yisrael Right around the time of the Baal Shem Tov, who was born in 1698, passed away in 1760. So, Israel, the name Israel, the name of Am Israel, it had to be called out into the world to restore our relationship back with our body and our soul. And as much as the Baal Shem Tov was many years ago, I'm reminded about the Piyasetzin Rebbe here as well. Klonim was Kalman Shapira, the Piyasetz, and Rebbe, the Esh Kredesh. He felt that already in his time, which is about 180 years after the Baal Shem Tov, people forgot what it was all about. People forgot what Chassidut, what Chassidut was all about. What this Chidush, or I don't like to call it a Chidush, but this restoration of the Baal Shem Tov in this world, what it was all about. So I wanted to learn with you all a teaching a short teaching, right over here. Let me just show you again, friends. Right here, in the cover of the Baal Shem Tov, where we are right now. As a Kohen, this is as close as I can get. 
a little bit of a, a little bit of inspiration from the Oyshev Sayami Moreno, Rav Yisrael Ben Eliezer Vechana, Zchotel Genalenu Valkol Am Yisrael. It seems like it's such a simple teaching, yet it's so mind-boggling deep. The Baal Shem Tov says that sometimes the Yetzir Hara misleads us, telling us that we've done the worst of error in the world, and we buy into it, we believe it, we fully believe it, we think it's true. It lets us think that um, what we've done has been so horrible, and even, uh, even though it's not that horrible, the, the intent of the Yetzirah is that we should become depressed. Simple as it is. It's that we can't continue to be an Eved Hashem. You know, we always say in the name of the Baal Shem Tov that our greatest slave drivers are our yesterdays. Our greatest slave drivers are our yesterdays. And it's so true. So the Baal Shem Tov said that when a, a person has to become a mumche, you must understand this, this whole trickery and reply to the Yitzhahara that I'm not going to pay any attention to this Chumrah that you speak of. You tell straight to the Yitzhahara, I know you think you have me. I know you think that you could beat me. But just so you should know, you don't have me. I will not allow you, no matter what, to convince me that there's anything in the world that I could do that could fully detach me from the Ribbon Hashanah. There's no such thing. Tell you, friends, I'm really at a loss for words. I'm so thankful for these few peaceful moments of quiet. The beginning of Cheshvan. To begin to understand what took place in Tishrei. Rechushi merachshi and sifsei. The lips are whispering. And I'm so thankful to so many of you. In fact, why not give thanks to Mark Zuckerberg? You're pretty a gavalt. This is very special to be able to share these moments with all of you. We're davening for all of you, and please daven for all of us. Am Yisrael needs to wake up. Am Yisrael needs to tune into it. Rav Kook calls Omet Salev, the courageousness of the heart. And we're going to get there. We're getting there. We're getting there. It's on the Ribbon HaShlelem's clock. V'atan oten lahem et ochlam be'ito. I pray that all of us just feel stronger and stronger as we're getting to this finish line of this world called Hester Panim. And that no more Jewish blood needs to be spilled in the world for us to wake up. None at all. And the schus of the tzaddik yisod olam, the Baal Shem, HaKadosh. Our children should grow up in a world where they never, ever doubt how much a Kaddish Baruch Hu loves them. You and I, our children, should grow up in a world where no parent or teacher or self will have the ability to convince them that we've damaged our soul to such an extent that doesn't allow us to feel the love, to feel the father-child relationship. I want to sing the nigun that we sang in the beginning, the nigun of Rabbi Raz Hartman called Nigun Baal Shem Tov. I think he called it Baal Shem Tov. And I think it came down to him right here. It's one of my favorite nigunim in the world.
We'll continue in the morning. Laila Tov.